always known him to be polite. Yeah. Hallelujah. Okay, Bishop. Okay, Bishop. Like I do. Show some emotion. Okay, Bishop. <laughs> I just never seen someone twenty something so old. And he walks like Drupal on. <laughs> but I'm very proud of that too. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Very, very proud of him. He has a zeal. He has a hunger for the word. I mean, he's making plans uh, to get back in school. Hallelujah. His mom is here. I mean, yeah. yeah, yeah. um, he's a fighter. I mean, uh, very, very, just a beautiful young man. I mean, I mean that in a good way. Beautiful, as if I would call myself beautiful. Yeah. Hallelujah. Um, but I'm very, very proud of you. In the name of Yahshua, Hallelujah. I know I, I would like you to submit more yes, to Elder Steve because he, he is an accomplished artist. Yeah, yeah. Amen. Amen. Uh, when Abdul doesn't agree with you, he just shakes his head. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Like, man, you don't, you don't even agree with me. Okay. Okay. All right, but at this time, I want to call for the fivefold ministry. Amen. As we set aside Hallelujah and the true artist, Hallelujah. In the name of Yahshua. Amen? Hallelujah. I have one of my daughters who's ordained now. Hallelujah. <laughs> and my wife's high heels went to flip flops. <laughs> <laughs> Pastor Ortiz, we love you. And you know we can give her her smart mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Heavenly Father, right now, yes. I thank you for with my son, Abdul. I thank you for the stand of fire. For y'all said you are a man of fire. Y'all said you are a man of boldness. Y'all said you are a man of grace. Y'all said in the name of Yahshua, will build, build my kingdom. Y'all said you will build mega ministries. Y'all said I'll make you to that mighty professor. I'll make you to that mighty teacher. I'll make you to that mighty drawer, that mighty painter. Father, right now, in the name of Yahshua, we lose the goodness of your word. We lose the truth of your word. We lose the might of your word. And Father, we call this death in the shoes. Amen. Amen. I'm only here, you know, via prayer. You know, I used to. Uh, Take it time. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, you know, <clears throat> my um, grandmother always used to tell us to pray. You know. And my mother always said, you know, that my grandmother, <clears throat> excuse me, she had told me at the age of 12 that, you know, that um, she had told me that basically I would be a preacher. And I, I didn't accept it. Like, I didn't accept it at first because I felt like I wasn't ready. You know, being young and what went through my mind and everything, I'm like, Grandma, <laughs> You know, I don't know if I'm ready for, um, you know, you know, such a calling. You know, but once I've went through life and you know, going through my teenage years and seeing how, you know, how just being disobedient got me nowhere. You know, um, it's it's only by grace that I survived the streets of North. I uh, grew up on Avon, two fourteen Avon Avenue. You know, I'm, I'm proud to be where I'm from. You know, I, I come straight from the South Boy. You know, not a lot of kids make it out, a lot of kids die. Uh, I've, I've watched kids I went to school with, um, who was very good at art, you know. I've, I've, I've watched them die, you know, like just, just drown in the streets, drown in the drugs, the drugs, just, you know, took them away, you know, and, and I was always determined that basically I would find a way, you know. By faith, I would get out of North, you know, I would leave the streets of Avon, you know, but coming here to the ministry, you know, and, and hearing the music, it, it, it changed me, but the word was what kept me. You know, it, it was the word, it was the teachings that kept me. You know, I've, I've gone to different churches and I've, I've, I've heard different preachings and different teachings, but I never really grasped it. 
you know, I've, I've never understood it, but just by me hearing the teachings, it, it, it changed me, it humbled me, and it developed a hunger to come back to learn more. You know, it, it, it awakened a voice within me that I heard since I was younger, but I never understood, and I never knew what it was. And that very voice was the voice of Christ. The uh, voice of Christ stopped me from committing murder. Um, it was running through my head. You know, I wasn't in front of the person about to do it. <laughs> but it was running through my head. And there was a voice that came to me that said, don't do it because you have to think about your mother. You have to think about your brother, your sister. You got to think about your father, your nieces, and your nephews. And it humbled me. One, I didn't know what the, the voice was, but it was calm and it was soothing to my spirit. But when I came and heard the name Yahweh Yahshua, you know, I received it. You know, and that very name is the name I pray, and that's the very name that saved me. And that's the very name that has me here today alive. That's the very name that's going to save the streets of Avon. That's the very name that's going to save Newark. That's the very name that's going to save New Jersey. That's the very name that's going to change the United States of America. That's going to change the world. You know, it's best that we submit to the Holy Spirit. We submit to the Holy Spirit. We submit to the love that's flowing, flowing, flowing from Christ. Because Christ died for all. Not for just us. He died for all. So, so I never judge nobody, no matter what they're going through, because I too was there. So I understand what they're going through. You too can be a life changer to somebody. Just by you fighting, just by you believing, just by you carrying faith. Carry faith and just believe. Believe and show that you will make it out. Amen. 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 Amen.